let's talk about the skyline. Instead of paying for haircuts, that's how I afford the skyline. Yes, welcome to the amazing comments that I've been getting about this car now. There's been some interesting comments on this car. There's been a lot of interesting comments about me because a lot of people find the channel because of a skyline. Everyone likes a skyline, not everyone likes me. That's, that's totally understandable. But I wanted to make this video and start discussing a little bit about this car that I realized due to comments. I could make a whole video of people roasting me, like roast comments on, on me in the skyline reveal video. But anyway, let's talk a little bit about what's going on with this car. Oh, still haven't crashed it yet. Yeah, that was an, another comment. It's, it's gonna crash it in like a week. I haven't yet done the exhaust. There's a lot of things that I haven't done this car. Um, I did the, the carbon st stuff pretty quickly. Everything else is gonna come over time. I don't wanna just do it all in one go. I wanna kind of in stages do it. So anyway, a few people tweeted me, pointed out in the comments, something with this car that I didn't know of that wasn't mentioned on the listing that kind of thing so uh, with these cars you may or may not know they come with rear wheel steer now that's something that I was super excited about and something that I definitely wanted to dive in and experience it's found on a lot of new cars and it's such a cool thing that this is on a 1999 car it's on a lot of Nissans and it's called the high cast system I think people refer to it as and the high cast system is hit or miss for some people but either way i wanted to experience this for myself and get an idea of what it's like to drive something that steers at the rear i've driven porsches on like test day experiences with this real estate feature and i thought it was pretty sweet it made the car turn on the spot really really well all this kind of stuff well i thought unfortunately my car doesn't actually have it ever since i've had this car obviously there's things i don't know about but at the back there's this and i think what i think what it is at least <laughs> what people have told me it is. It's quite a common modification to the skylines that people do, which is a lockout bar. So this lockout bar pretty much means that it doesn't allow the, the rear wheels to get pulled. It's used like a normal hydraulic system. It moves very, very slightly the rear wheels, which is super useful for regaining control, that kind of thing. A lot of people remove it because they want to slide and handle a little bit better. Some people have issues with it, messing up, all this kind of stuff. There's a lot of negatives that I've read but at the same time, a lot of these negatives may be due to all the cars. The R34 GTR is, a lot of people, you know, have them still. But at the same time, this could just be a bunch of bad luck. You know, some people just not having luck with it. And a lot of people are using GTTs. And these GTTs, they, they're rear wheel drive. They want to drift and they don't want the rear wheel steering because it corrects their drifting. I don't want to drift an all wheel drive R34 GTR. That's not my objective. Thank you very much. So I really want to try fix this i mean fix this i mean break this 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 lockout i know it sounds really stupid and some people that probably have r34s are probably like what are you doing i've actually been getting quite a few comments of people that actually own these cars and genuinely do especially on uh instagrams that kind of thing but this is why i'm making this video which is rather different it's a rather different video to what i normally make because normally i'm like oh, i'm doing this today i'm doing this today i'm doing that today and this is why i'm doing it today it's more of a from experience guys i want to know for those that have driven and own and those that, you know, just want to search and get an opinion themselves on it, I would love to know if you guys want to do some digging with me on this, because normally this would just be a tweet, this video, but I wanted to know, do you guys think I should remove this lockout bar, experience it, and even if I don't like it, I wasted a little bit of money probably re-putting the system back in again because it's probably been stripped out some parts of it i know some parts are still in the car i've seen them and i don't know everything that's involved but i do want to see if we can revert the lockout bars and maybe experience the rear wheel steering in the r34 gtr there's a lot of people suggesting a lot of mods but this is the, one of the main things i want to get done because i want to experience the proper like how it was meant to be and i i know again people say that it's not so great I still want to give it a go myself, but at the same time, is it a waste of time doing it? Like, am I just going to revert back to the lockout bar? Because if so, sure, it's a waste of time, but it's an experience, you know? And, and not many people have experienced and properly shown this. I've seen uh, a few videos w demonstrating how it works and it fixes correctly. It's almost like a nanny assist, but at the same time, when it comes to high-speed cornering, the idea behind it was to take corners better and they're using it nowadays on new cars so surely there's a reason they're bringing this thing back but again then again surely there's a reason that people are locking them out on these cars cool little learning experience for you guys going along with the ownership of this car on these videos and just kind of discussing the thought i want to kind of bring you in on it because not a lot of people obviously have this experience so I want to share absolutely everything I can with you. Now, other than that, um, there's a lot of people asking for a lot of mods for exhausts, for bigger wings, for carbon hoods, 
all this kind of stuff and opinions on the fact that some people don't like the carbonness that I equipped to my car, which I really like it, so it's staying. What's next for the GTR? I've not done much other than adding some carbon bits and doing the reverse camera, which some people are like, <laughs> some comments are literally the stupidest comments in the world. I got some comments. I'm a ricer because I installed a rear view camera. This <laughs> Not quite sure that's how it works, but uh, there you go. It does. It is useful. I know some why do you need it? You you should you should know how to drive. It's not it's not to help you drive. It's an assist. It, it helps you see so I don't crash into something and I know I can do it without but it's easier with a camera, so I wanted to put one in. And for the first time ever, I got comments saying, wow, why, why did you do that yourself? It could have cost you $30 from a shop. <laughs> Normally, it's the other way around, do it yourself. Wow, why did you take it to a shop? Comments. Sometimes good, sometimes... I've had people asking me for just a you know, point of view video, which I'm also considering doing at some point. People just want pure exhaust noise. Also, video I'm gonna do at some point, but the exhaust stuff is gonna come when I do the exhaust. I'm gonna do the before and after with the blitz versus the uh, the system that I'm going to be getting. There's a whole bunch of GTR videos that are gonna be coming to the channel. I, I promise you, pretty obvious, I know. But as I said, I just wanted to leave you with that question, that predicament that I'm in, and then I need to start looking into the process of doing so. It's a weird one. It's a really weird one. But I said, if you want to know more about GTR ownership and all that kind of stuff, you're in the right place. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, wheels and stuff for the TT, I'm going to start looking for them tonight. I'm looking for the cheapest stuff because that's going to be the cheap build and I will be making more videos on that. And um, yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash like, subscribe if you are new, and as I said, let me know in the comments. What do you think? Till next time, peace.